beautiful sized fish for dinner. Perfect. Get me dispatched and we'll uh, keep me for later. Well, we've got to camp, it's just on dusk. Just had time to set the tent up, get the uh, fish cleaned and ready for cooking, and uh, time for the first beer. Great day out on the water today. Cheers. Ah, absolutely beautiful river. <clears throat> absolutely wrapped to get that fish first up in the day. I was able to pull in and see uh, Dan and Sue from One Tree Canoe, spend an hour or two there, having a lovely coffee and a chat, which was great to catch up, see what's going on with their business. It's uh, absolutely booming, which is great to see. So as I was saying, we just got dusk now, so I'm gonna, I think I'll just whip the gas stove out. I haven't even got a fire prepared or anything yet. We'll get the little gas stove whipped out, get these fish cooking up, eat that, and then we'll think about maybe having a fire and see how we get on. Ah. <sighs>
Mm. Yellow belly certainly is a beautiful fish to eat. Well, I've been very lucky with the lights, just held out long enough. Beautiful evening down the river here. Not a sound other than the bugs. Just beautiful. Well, it is an absolutely stunning day here today. Absolutely beautiful morning, just on 7.30. Just gotta pack up the rest of the camp now and chuck it in the canoe and get going. Won't worry about doing any fishing till the second half of the day. I caught a fish yesterday, probably about 15 minutes into the paddle. And luckily I was able to put it in a fridge at um, Dan's place and keep it in there for the hour and hour and a half I was at his place yesterday. Um, and keep it nice and cool and chill it right down with a wet towel and then put that back in the canoe and it's probably just okay by the time I got here you wouldn't want to keep it any longer than that so I won't do that today I'm going to leave the fishing till the second part of the day I might do a little bit of fishing and see what I can catch but probably end up throwing it back because it's just going to be far too warm it's going to be about 29 degrees Celsius here today very very warm and very very humid but look really great camp spot here beautiful river lots of fish in this river which I'm really impressed with and far more picturesque than I imagine, I must admit as well. I just thought it was going to be a big broad river all the way down, but these upper reaches are just beautiful. So even if you're thinking of a day trip, hiring some paddles from Dan, or canoe from Dan I should say, and uh, getting down the river, well worth it. Beautiful, beautiful river. So it's time for me to finish this coffee and start packing up. Just traveling around this shallow corner out of camp. Pristine conditions, not even a breath of wind, which is lovely. I already see fish rising, little fish getting chased. Just going to uh, hope that we can catch a fish later on in the, the uh, morning for lunch. It's just crazy to think that we're only an hour out of the CBD of a major capital city looking out in a wild place like this. I'll put up some trip notes towards the end of the trip give you an idea of distances and times and so forth it is definitely worth doing, no doubt about it and give you an idea of camp spots and so forth as well you can camp on the river obviously and there's a few options there as well so I'll come back to you all later in the video and share that information then. The number one animal or reptile that I've seen on this trip has been turtles. Little guys, about yay long. You saw one coming up a log there as I went through that little rapid. And I've seen probably 20 or 30 of them so far in the water, jumping off logs, sunning themselves. Really nice to see. So for any of you people who want to do any um, red claw or anything like that up in this river, Please don't use the Opera House type of nets because they will kill those turtles. But yeah, it's just really great to see them out in nature. Well, 
might get a bit wild. Big log trying to jam me up. Okay, got another corner here with some overhanging branches. Let's have a bit of a look and see what we can see. As far as a pathway through. So you can see the water sweeps down around under this log here and that's where the problem lies. That's going to jam us up without a doubt. So I'm thinking I'll have to walk it down here at least. You can see the water sweeping out wide there rather than in around the corner. Let's have a look here. Yeah, so once we get the uh, canoe into here, we can pull her in and we can just shoot back down through there, that'll be fine. But that will be in all sorts of mess. Have to say I'm enjoying this exploration business. It's been a long time since I've uh, had to get out and look at rabbits and so forth. Normally we can just blast through them, but this overhanging trees creates a nice little challenge. Well, I suppose the benefits of doing this in the summertime is you get a nice cool dip. Water is just beautiful. Much happier to walk a canoe down through uh, overhanging trees where you can get jammed up sideways and so forth and lose everything. Much easier just to walk through it, keep it safe, particularly when you're by yourself. <clears throat> There's a lot of guys have commented on my uh, canoe selection video. They put big airbags in their longer canoes to stop the volume of water hitting into the canoe. So if it does turn sideways, you're not pushing out quite as much water, which makes a whole lot of sense. But for me, I'm just happy to get out and uh, walk the canoe down where it required. We're just on the home stretch now. It's been an absolutely brilliant weekend. For those that are interested, I uh, dropped in at Lowood, at Lowood Bend, and I'm popping out at Colo Bend, uh, near the Botanical Gardens. Started off at 9.30 on Saturday in the water <coughs> and got to camp at about 5.30, but that was with a fairly decent stop at Dan and Sue's place to have a look at their new facilities, new camp set up and so forth and uh, stopping for lunch so you could do it at about an hour or half, maybe two hours less than that very easy paddling 
and very enjoyable. The paddle today, same thing again, lots of rapids. So do be prepared to get out of your canoe slash kayak, um, only from the point of view that there's timber going across the water, and if you get jammed under that, as I said, then you're in all sorts of bother. But a really nice trip. <clears throat> I've been drinking the water out of the river, just been filtering it through a, um, a little water filter system. Beautiful water, lovely and clear. Great fishing, particularly um, the top half that I came in on. Very, very good fishing. Not seeing as many fish now on this stretch of the water. As you'd imagine, a lot broader, a lot more people, houses, homes, that type of thing as well. So definitely worth doing. It's very uh, impressive that you can get out an hour and a half out of the CBD of a major capital city and be uh, fishing and camping and so forth in such a wild place as this. Just a beautiful river. For those who want to camp the night, you have a few choices. I'm lucky enough, I've got a, a friend of mine that owns a property on the river, so I just stopped at his place last night um, and camped there and then ended up going back to his house for a couple of beers. But the other options you've got is One Tree Canoe now set up as a hip camp. So you can pull in there with Dan and Sue. <clears throat> now that's a great idea, particularly if you don't even have a canoe or a kayak, because you can hire canoes and kayaks. You can do day trips. <clears throat> they can take you out themselves on trips as well. You want to go overnight camping and so forth. Um, so they're a really good resource for this particular river. They know all the different stretches and so forth, how long it takes, all that information. And of course you can camp at their place. So they've got a camp right on the river itself, which is lovely. And then up over the back of their property, they've got a nice one as well. So you've got a couple of options there camping wise and beautiful, easy access to the water of the river. The other option is Wee Farm, which is down around past Fernvale. Um, that's also a very, very nice setup, but gets booked out quite often because you can get caravans and so forth in there. And as you can imagine, that gets uh, booked out pretty quickly. So there's a couple of options camping wise. Um, wild camping, unfortunately, is not to go because it is all properties all the way down the river. Um, but once again, talk to Dan or Sue at One Tree Canoe and they'll set you up as far as getting on the river, where to go and so forth. Fishing wise, I've pulled out some bass. Obviously that big yellow belly yesterday, which I had for dinner. Uh, very enjoyable. But all in all, a great trip, thoroughly enjoyable. About an hour out of uh, my pickup zone now. So I will wrap it up here and I'll talk to you all in a fortnight's time. Bye for now.